Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about the different types of DNA. Now after knowing the structure of the DNA, we must know that how many types of DNA are present. Types, right? It sounds different. That do we have different types of DNA? But yes, do we do. Because of different conditions, DNA exists in different forms. So, the learning objectives will be to describe the features of the DNA which exist in different conditions. Now, DNA mo molecule exists in different forms. This different form of DNA depends on what type of condition it is present in. For example, the factors which are responsible for different structures of DNA are first the hydration level. The hydration level means that what is the amount of water present in the surroundings. And next is the salt and the metal ion concentrations. We will discuss how different DNA absorb, uh, observes different types of structures depending on these conditions. So various forms that a DNA can take is BDNA, ADNA, ZDNA, CDNA and DDNA. Let us see each one of them in little bit detail. So first is BDNA. Now BDNA. BDNA is the most common and the predominant form of DNA. The Watson and the Crick model which we discussed is a BDNA. Now where is a BDNA found? It is found in physiological conditions which are present inside the cell. What are those physiological conditions? 92% of relative high humidity and very low concentration of ions. This is a physiological condition. High humidity, low ion concentration. Now what are the features of a BDNA? We have already discussed them. Let us do a small recap. So the features are it has a right handed helix. So it is double helical. The helix is right handed. In this form, the bases are present in the center that is they occupy the core and on the periphery of the helix the phosphate and sugar are alternatively arranged as backbones. Next the diameter of the helix was 20 angstroms and each turn was of 34 angstroms. Now in each turn around 10 base pairs were present. So in each turn of the helix around 10 base pairs were present and the distance between two base pairs was 3.4 angstrom. These base pairs were tilted from the helix by around 6.3 degree. So, if we say that this is the sugar phosphate backbone, this is the base which is extending out. So, it tilts like this. So, in case of BDNA, the tilting is around 6.3 degrees. And there is a wide and deep major groove and narrow and deep minor groove. Next is ADNA. Now ADNA is also a right handed helix. Where is it found? It is found when the humidity is around 75% and the ions are sodium, potassium and cesium ion. If these ions are in excess, then the form of DNA is ADNA. It has a right handed helix. Now in BDNA, there were 10 base pairs in one helix turn. Here we have 11 base pairs. So, and the tilt of the axis, tilt of the base pair from axis is 20.2 degrees. Due to this displacement, because of the tilt of the base pairs, the major groove and minor groove shift a little. So, the depth of the major groove increases, whereas that of a minor groove decreases. The A form is a metastable form and it quickly converts into D form of DNA. Next is ZDNA. Now ZDNA is a left handed helix. So the other two we discussed were right handed helix. This is a left handed double helical structure. The sugar phosphate bone, uh, backbone is zigzag. The two strands are anti parallel. But the sugar phosphate backbone is zigzag in case of ZDNA. Now this DNA was first discovered by Andres Wong and Alexander Rich. So the presence of ZDNA was discovered by these two scientists. ZDNA is found in in vivo conditions. So it is biologically active form of DNA. In this, there are 12 nucleotides present in each turn. And the major groove is comparatively flatter, but the minor groove is normal, narrow and deep. Next, let us see the comparison of structure of these three DNAs. So this is ADNA, BDNA and ZDNA. Clearly you can see they have right handed helix orientation. The ZDNA has a left handed orientation. The major groove little flat, minor groove is deep and narrow in all the three cases. Now CDNA. 
The cDNA is formed at 66% humidity, but the ions which have to be present is lithium ions. So, if lithium ions is present, the DNA tend to assume the cDNA form. It is again a right-handed helix. There are 9.33 base pairs in one turn, and the helical diameter in this case is 19 angstroms. Next is dDNA. Now, this dDNA is an extremely rare variant. It has 8 base pairs in per helical turn. Now, this form of DNA is generally devoid of guanine, means guanine bases are very less in this form of DNA. That is the reason it is called a rare form of DNA. And the base pairs here, there they were positively tilted in other DNAs, but here they have a negative tilt in them. Thus, to summarize, we can say that DNA exists in different forms in different conditions. Those forms are A, B, C, D and Z form. And the features are the base pair per turn of helix, in case of A DNA is 11 base pairs, in case of B is 10, in C we have 9.33, in D we have 8 base pairs and in Z we have 12 base pairs per turn. The tilt of the base in case of A is 20.2, for B is 6.3. Now for C and D they are negatively tilted, it's minus 7.8 and minus 16.7, for Z it is 7 degrees. The axial rise, that is the distance between two nucleotides, for A is 2.56, for B is 3.37, and for C is 3.32, for D is 3.03, .03. and in case of Z, we have 3.7 angstroms. Now, helical diameter, the diameter of the helix. For A DNA, it's 23, for B, we all know it's 20 angstroms, for C is 19, for D, it has not been derived since it's a rare variant, and for Z, it is 18 angstrom. Now, handedness. Handedness for A, B and C, it's right-handed. For D also, it is right-handed. But for Z DNA, it is a left-handed helix. So, this was pretty much about types of DNA. Now, we will discuss in next video about the functions that the DNA play in our body. Till then, thank you very much. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.